Alrighty then. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So as you can see, what I'm doing right now is writing out all the Avengers from the Infinity War all out on this piece of paper. Now I got this from IMBD or whatever you Google when you say all the Avengers from Infinity War. And that's what I got is this list right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut these up and then I'm going to go ahead and throw them into a hat and then I'm going to pick two and you're gonna have to trust me when I say that I did not look I looked away I rummaged around and I picked the two because trust me I didn't really want to draw these two in the first place now I mean you have to trust me that these weren't my favorite or I mean they're they're my, they're a couple of my favorites but at the same time it's like I really wanted to either draw um, Spider-Man <laughs> or Tony or Loki or Bucky or Gamora. I wanted to draw them, or especially Captain America. I wanted to draw one of them, but instead I got Mantis and <laughs> Thor. And I'm just like, oh, well, Thor isn't... So the thing about Thor is I wanted to go ahead and I wanted to draw him in his older form just because he has long beautiful blonde hair so wonderful and I just thought I thought this would be more perfect to have him as what he used to be as opposed to what he is now with the haircut and everything and the two different eyes um spoiler alert oh by the way no spoilers anybody if you haven't seen Marvel's Avengers Infinity War then one go see it two don't spoil it for anybody else who's already seen this because that's no fun. I've heard a lot of kids, especially my students, they tell me, oh, well, so-and-so spoiled it for me. And I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. This thing wasn't out two weeks and everybody already knows what happened. And I mean, it's hard to keep this a secret, but at the same time, it's just like, can't you keep it a secret? <laughs> so just be respectful of others who have not seen the movie yet. And don't tell anybody any spoilers unless they are going crazy and they beg you to tell them exactly what happens anyways so I went ahead and I started looking at images of the Thor meet and greet at Disneyland because he's a lot of fun to meet <laughs> especially now you can meet Thor and Loki together and I really want to get back there to meet them and so I wanted to go ahead and do the meet and greet if you see if you've gone to a meet and greet at Disneyland you realize that Thor still wears his helmet and he has his long hair and so that's really cool that we still keep the old image of Thor as opposed to what he looks like now. And I just wanted to go ahead and do that version of Thor. And I've got Mil Mil. <laughs> Gotta bring him back into the story because he was a good weapon. And he was Thor's favorite other than the axe that he gets from Infinity War. It's not a spoiler. It's kind of typical if you look at the movie posters that Thor obviously gets an axe. <laughs> so I wanted to go ahead and draw him with his his old look. Now the other one was Mantis. Now <laughs> I've seen a couple of people draw Mantis on Instagram for Mermaid and I thought they were super cute but at the same time I didn't know how to exactly draw Mantis in this kind of mermaid form to make it I don't know individual and special in a way because it's just that all mermaids practically have a green tail, and Mantis is gonna have a green tail. <laughs> uh, the only thing that I wanted to switch up on her is if you've seen Guardians of the Galaxy or Marvel's Infinity War, then uh, Marvel Avengers Infinity War. I keep seeing Marvel's Infinity War. What is wrong? Uh, <laughs> it's a really long title anyways. But anyways, if you look at Mantis, you notice that she has these forearm length gloves and I didn't want to draw gloves on her instead I went ahead and I incorporated scales onto her skin to represent her gloves because I know that the gloves are kind of acting as her way of like giving her that mantis look and I'm gonna tell you something else I struggle with her eyes I she's got these ginormous pupils and she has no irises at all and I was freaking out like where do I put the shine in her eye do I leave any white spaces on her eye and you see I have her on a quarter turn and I was like, I don't even think I have enough room to put like a white part of her eye on the right side of her face because of the quarter turn. So I was really freaking out. I was like, this girl's gonna look like she, she just got these ginormous pupils. So it's a, it, she was difficult just because 
one, I didn't want to lose the look of her hair into a mermaid because they're underwater and everything. And I didn't want to really like lose that look to her hair because it's like straight down and it like it's formed around her little antennas. So there was this was Mantis was really difficult to draw. And the other thing I wanted to go ahead and incorporate was the little jellyfish because all I could think of was how Dory and Marlin came up on the jellyfish. It's my squishy, my little squishy, it's all mine. And that I just figured that would so be Mantis. And that situation is to find a little jellyfish and be like, oh, it's kind of like when she looked at Rocket in the second Guardians of the Galaxy and was like, the, pup, the angry puppy is so cute, I'm gonna die. I thought, yeah. I've got to get her get her some kind of cute little creature sea creature in there for her to be like oh so i had to totally went ahead and added the jellyfish because it reminded me of finding nemo another thing is with mantis i was just uh i was really struggling with skin tones and even with mermaids you're trying to figure out they're underwater so you want to have like either a blue or a purple shadow going around somewhere and i was just this was difficult. So was Thor. Thor and Mantis were pretty difficult for me to draw. And I found myself kind of like, um, I'm not really doing well on this, but I want to do well. For the last minute, I decided that I was going to draw one of my favorites. And I think he's one of your favorites as well. And I wanted to draw him because I actually had one of my students come up and ask me, can you draw Spider-Man as a merman? And I went, yeah. Yeah, I, I probably could, but I don't really know how I would do that. And this idea finally popped up in my mind as to, I know what to do for Spider-Man's tail. <laughs> and I had to do it. I had to do it. I was so upset when I was drawing names. That's kind of like my attitude when I picked Thor and Mantis. I just had this attitude of like, well, I wanted to do Spider-Man. So I went ahead and did Spider-Man anyways, because I knew what I wanted to do for his tail. So here we are again. I kind of explained this in one of my previous videos on drawing mermen. It's just, it's difficult for me because I don't really draw men shirtless. And I'm thinking once I do the sketchbook slam challenge that I'm going to have to draw a lot more muscular men shirtless. <laughs> just because, I, I mean, I've got to, I've got to do it. Gotta buckle down and draw the man form. <laughs> and I think it would help me body proportion wise as well. So I really do have to work on that because drawing uh, Thor and now Peter, it was just like, uh, I hope I don't warp them too much. And I, I hope that I place everything in the right area. Anyways, I think that this was the most fun for me drawing Peter Spider-Man as this merman because I finally got a chance to draw his tail and I really just really wanted to do it and I, of course I thought I could I should have just thrown in about 10 more Spider-Mans into my hat when you guys weren't looking I'm kidding I would never do that I wanted to be fair but I went ahead and then drew the two that I actually did pick from my hat but I wanted to do this Spider-Man look at this so I wanted to incorporate his gloves similar to Mantis and I wanted to draw his tail as his overall bodysuit and make this ginormous spider on his tail. I am really happy with how I designed Spider-Man. I just, this this has been in my head ever since my student said, can you draw Spider-Man as a merman? And as soon as this idea popped up, I thought this is great. I need to do this, but digital art is hard. So I was putting off drawing it on Procreate and I just thought, Maybe I can do it in this challenge. Maybe I'll actually pick Spider-Man from my hat. And it didn't happen. Ugh. <laughs> also, I was just really struggling with a bunch of my Copic markers. They are just, some are dying. I'm looking about t at 20 right now that I have to go and replace. So that's going to cost a pretty nickel and dime. Maybe I'll go to um, Hobby Lobby and pick out some Prismacolor ones as opposed to picking out Copic marker ones because they expensive and Prismacolor and Copic markers do work well together so I think that would be nice to do instead of just sticking to just Copic markers now because they're so expensive go ahead and branch out and jump into a little bit more of the Prismacolors which now all have brush tips which really make me happy that you have the option of either buying the small little um, fine pointed tips or I mean they all come with chisel tips 
but now you have the option for the brush tip pins and I love brush tip pins. <laughs> but yes, this has been a lot of fun. I just wanted to challenge myself because I thought it'd be funny to draw the Avengers as mermaids or mermen. I, this is just a fun challenge. I really hope you guys will go and see Marvel Avengers Infinity War because if you haven't seen it yet, go see it because someone might spoil it for you or you probably already know what happens but make sure you just don't put in the comments down below what happens if you were to draw one of the avengers as a merman or a mermaid who would you pick leave in the comments down below i hope you enjoyed this video i will see you all later and i think we're gonna jump into the incredibles tutorial series tutorial i almost said tutorial again <laughs> but yes guys have a most wonderful day i will see you all later bye